everyone and welcome to the sixth part tutorial of uh, how to model the spacecraft hunger. Now, um, I was in the middle of test. Uh, let me just open the last scene. Maybe it was hunger 4, I'm not sure already. Okay, so um, the last part, what we've done is created those um, Grimty uh, hangovers, overhang uh, profiles. Now, thing is, we if we if you did actually um, uh, apply them to lures, sorry. So um, right click on top of them and choose select. Okay, sorry. There is select objects. Okay, so all the objects that are inside this layer will be selected and that way uh, we will need to push them uh, over here to the wall okay because I forgot about it and that's the third thing we should do now um, I wanted to start creating the uh, some kind of the floating base for the spaceship spacecraft so basically um, should be easy, but we will need to practice something here to uh, make things uh, easier for us, okay? Um, the first thing I would like to do is to hide the floor, maybe hide everything else, because right now none of this is important in the scene. We need uh, empty space to work with. Uh, okay, so click somewhere in the background and let's create a poly cylinder that way okay now I want you to um, create this uh, use this attribute editor and the poly cylinder uh, tab in order to give some more subdivision but first let's large this let's scale it like so and Yeah, okay, let's scale it like so and bring it to that scale, okay? So you have a... Okay, we have 50 axes, we can add manually uh, 60 just to make it look smoother and we want to get... Uh, we want to... We want to... Um, add few edge loops here but we need to do this that way hold down the shift right click choose insert edge loop now I want you to zoom in and I want you to add um, first you know what let's let's make it different uh, let's hold down the vertex okay choose this vertex here and only the upper one, okay? The lower one is not important right now, only the upper one. Edit mesh and chamfer vertex, okay? Now that way, if you press F8 to bring it back to object mode, hold down the shift, right click and choose insert edge loop, you will be able to do this. So I'm having one edge loop, just the nearest that I can to this corner edge add one more here add one ear another one right here and from this uh, side one more here and one more next to it to the other one okay <coughs> so this is how it should look like okay now add one more edge over here that way and for now let's leave it as it is um, F8 to bring it back to object mode and I want you to pick uh, faces okay face and choose one this one shift double click on this one so it will select all the surrounded uh, loop of these faces okay extrude them once and push it a little bit down to create another supporting edge 
extrude once again, push it even lower and click once again and push it a little bit and then once again but this time we want to tap on one of those cubes on the gadget and click and hold this one and drag your mouse to the left so it will create uh, something that looks like that okay okay great now um, tap F8 once or twice and let's press 3 to see how it looks okay so this is how it gets so we need one more edge loop down here so press 1 to exit from the smooth preview hold down the shift right click choose insert edge loop and insert one more edge loop over here okay now um, press F8 to bring it back to object mode and then I want you to choose edge and choose this inner uh, edge click once uh, twice double click on one of those edges it will select all this edge loop and use the rotate tool to give it just a little bit twist but make sure it doesn't go to any other direction like up or down just like that okay now that's fine uh, when you do so um, you can also at the same time uh, push this a little bit down just a bit okay and then we will grab this uh, this face in the middle edit mesh and poke face okay so we poke this face but we want to grab these edges here and push them even lower okay now we are overlapping the downside um, faces so right click choose face choose all these faces okay now it's a little bit harder to do this because uh, um, we need to chamfer maybe it's better to chamfer the, the this vertex here okay and maybe this one okay wait let me see chamfer this one okay and now it will be easier to grab those you just choose face double click this one no it was the it wasn't the right vertex to chamfer sorry undo that and this is the right vertex okay edit mesh chamfer vertex and then you can one click double click these and it will select them all delete them and <clears throat> you will be left with this face and you can delete it so now we only need to grab this vertex here and push it down that way okay so um, yeah now I want maybe to bring this all just a little bit lower like that and <clears throat> then go over edit mesh keep faces together no make sure that keep faces together is not signed with the okay and grab these rows these sorry unselect this and double click this one and then select this one and here select this one unselect this one and double click no this one we can't do nothing about it but you can just uh, hold on the control shift and select all this area because there is nothing related downside so you can just grab them like so okay the control shift is adding to selection and there is a tutorial about the selection tool which will help you if you don't uh, already know the features so after you've done so you click on extrude once and I want you to pull this a little bit up and then at the same time tap on one of these cubes and grab these and just 
pull it like so. So you have something that looks like this, okay? Now, <clears throat> that's fine. There's many ways you can do this or make it look uh, better. But um, I will suggest something uh, that you can do uh, if you like. Um, is like taking this piece, okay, as it is. Now, if I will smooth preview it, you see what it gets, okay? It looks like this. Uh, doesn't? It's not what I uh, meant to do. So I do want these pieces to be. Uh, smooth preview the outsider frame of this uh, base okay so I can copy this control D and <clears throat> I can get rid of all the uh, middle parts but the way you should do this is tap on F8 once you should grab this vertex at the middle okay there is a middle vertex here let me see it again Okay, there is a middle vertex here. Okay, and chamfer the vex vertex, this vertex. And then you will have a face here. So grab this face, okay, and let me first look for this. It's very important right now. Um, <clears throat> By the way, it should be English. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so I have this uh, virtual keyboard right now. No, where is it? Okay, this is the keyboard. Okay, so there is those two buttons here. If I will switch to my own language, you may see it, maybe not. Um, yeah, while I'm holding the shift, it's happening. So there is those two arrows to the left and right, okay? So when you click, when you hold shift and those two on your keyboard, you can um, select, uh, spread your selection in... Uh, that way, I'll just show you. Hold on the shift using those keys, and <clears throat> it will select. I'm using the right key, okay? The right, uh, the right arrow, okay? In order to uh, spread my selection, and that way I can um, <clears throat> just select all these faces. But I want to stop somewhere here, okay? I don't want to enter to this area. I will even one step backwards and one more step backwards. And then I can just press delete and delete all this stuff, okay? Now it's important to have the face inside that I've chamfered because otherwise your selection won't be uh, spread equally to all the circle, okay? So tap F8 once or twice and the first thing to do after this is press 3 to see how the smooth, smooth preview of it looks. Okay, so it looks nice and that's okay. But um, I could do something else. I can undo this, okay? So I will bring back all this selection I made, okay? Like that. And I can extract this, okay? Mesh, extract. So now I will have two different okay by the way when you make extraction uh, make sure your keep faces together is ticked okay edit mesh keep faces together and mesh extract okay so now I will have two different pieces for this and I can smooth preview this one and this one will remain uh, with hard edges so that's kinda nice okay so we can get rid of the original part and bring this one down to the level floor okay floor level okay whatever now <clears throat> now comes the uh, a little bit harder part which you need to be aware uh, how to do this 
Um, I'm doing it like not in the professional way, but uh, this is how it goes. Uh, what you need to do is first make sure when you put this uh, thing down here, okay, on the floor, to determine what the height of it. You can bring it inside like so, and that way um, you can see that there are few cubes here that are giving us a little bit hard time okay so we need to select them we don't want them inside this um, kind of uh, force field for the spaceship okay we don't need those cubes here these are the floor cubes we can just get rid of them and look farther to see if something is interrupting us or overlapping this base okay now if it looks fine then nothing more to it okay but keep in mind that in some cases you will want to uh, you will see picking floor here and then you will have to just if the picking floor is here just for a, an example right click on top of it Choose, verte uh, choose faces and delete only the faces that are inside and overlapping your uh, this force field uh, whatever okay and just delete them by tapping delete and then the floor will be somehow um, uh, you know not interfering this okay so this is basically it. This is the uh, the base, and <clears throat> I think this is it. Uh, the next part, I will continue to uh, create the some kind of generator here to the side of this uh, uh, force field base or something, and just pick those before we finish this part. Click assign to a layer. Um, we call it force field field uh, base, okay? And pick a color for it and choose save, okay? <clears throat> so that's that's it for this uh, part. We will continue the next part and do some extra uh, objects here, okay? See you soon. Bye for now. Have a nice day, evening, or whatever your experiencing right now right now and that's it see you